educational philosophy. It seemed like an extremely daunting word considering I had been doing this course for only two months. I then realised that my educational philosophy had already been developed and is getting contributed to every day. Harvey Seigel states that an educational philosophy is made up of our nature, aims and problems we may encounter. I strongly believe there is multiple ingredients needed to create a positive and supportive classroom environment. A few things such as care, sympathy, empathy and dedication. I know that a lot of my teachers were lacking some of these traits in one way or another. I am determined to make the change and to show how powerful teachers really are. There are two educational philosophers who have influenced the ingredients in my educational philosophy. Those two people are Nell Noddings and Bell Hooks. Nell Noddings has contributed to education by her significance of research in caring and relationships in terms of families and local communities. She is highly regarded in terms of ethical and moral foundations of teaching, schooling and education. Nell is also a high believer of people being engaged in philosophy with education. Nell has multiple approaches in terms of education. Some of these include care, sympathy, caring in terms of schooling and education along with modelling, dialogue, practice and confirmation. Some of these approaches are going to be a part of my philosophy. I am driven to have these aspects in my classroom. Care, sympathy and dialogue. Caring. This is a word people use a lot and teachers push this word on their students. However, are unable to practice what they preach. Nell's argument is that care is basic in human life and that all people want to be cared for. Along with this, she states that some teachers are influenced by an ethic of care, known as natural caring. This type of care does not require ethical effort to stimulate it. Caring links into the topic of sympathy, which many teachers in my experience did not have. I'm sure we've all had that one teacher that does not care or sympathise for their students. They are just driven to deliver the work and nothing else. Sympathy is similar to caring, however sympathy really means the effective state of attention in caring. Sympathy is important in a classroom to create the emotional bond with your students. By having sympathy in certain situations, it shows your students you care for them, which can lead to a healthier bond and also gain trust. Not only do I wish to gain trust in a relationship with my students, but I am also determined to create a positive and professional relationship with my colleagues and parents of my students. This is the seventh Australian professional standard for teachers. Plan to do this by communicating with them in an effective way, such as emails and parent-teacher conference nights. This relates to my next concept that I want to adapt from Nell Noddings, dialogue. Nell states that dialogue is such an essential part of caring that we could not model caring without engaging in it. This proves that I need to communicate with my students effectively to show I care. Without communicating effectively with your students, it can cause them to struggle and to not maintain the positive classroom environment I am striving for. The second philosopher who impacted on my educational philosophy is Bell Hooks. She came from a low socioeconomic family and worked her way up to become a distinguished professor. She struggled in schools because her teachers were white and perceived her and her peers as black, poor and unsuccessful. Hooks states that they were not interested in transforming the minds, but simply transferring irrelevant bodies of knowledge. This is the opposite of the teacher I want to be. I will have an open mind about my students, no matter their gender, socioeconomic status, cultural background and cultural identity, along with family form. I truly believe that all my students will have the ability to achieve. Yes, some students may struggle more than others, but it is a responsibility I will take on as a teacher. Bell Hooks is a believer of holistic education. Cyrus Malmaudi states that holistic education seeks to challenge the fragmented. It is about the student as a whole. When focusing on the student as a whole, it is important to eliminate any factors you think might be or are affecting the student. Bell Hooks has been personally affected by racism and sexism all through her learning journey. We, as pre-service teachers, know this is not right. I strive to prove that no factors such as socioeconomic status, gender, cultural differences, etc. will affect my students' capabilities. I will not be a transfer of knowledge. I'm going to have an open mind because all students have the ability to be smart, learn new things, improve themselves along with finding themselves along their learning journey. I will achieve this by having a positive and safe classroom setting. This will be maintained by me caring, having sympathy, using dialogue and not taking notice of stereotypes that people think will affect the learning capabilities of my students.